Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Thomas and Friends Crystal Caves Adventure Set. Now, I have been seeing this online, and I was generally excited to see this set, and when I found it at my local Walmart, I snagged it up as soon as I could. Now, you'll see here that you have the nice printing on the box, with of course Thomas zooming along the side, you know, our usual stuff. On the back here you can see a description of the set, and it reflects back to the episode The Mystery of Lookout Mountain, and of course all of the action that you can do with this set, and what's included with it, which I think is pretty cool. You also see that you can connect more track here, so it's offering expansion, and this was Play Lab, Kid Tested, and Expert Approved, which is pretty cool. Here you'll see it says Fun with Friends, you know, again, what we're used to from the All Just Go style packaging. Here's the top of the box and the bottom. And on the bottom, it'll show copyright information and, of course, logos, entertainment logo, and my favorite, the Thomas barcode. All right, now inside the box, you'll see that you have this sticker sheet, and there's a lot of stickers with this set. You also see the instruction manual here, which um, lets you know about the one time snaps and, of course, how to install the battery. Next is how you assemble the rest of the set, and of course how you put it together uh, with the track layout. And then this is the Let's Play section, so it shows you how to use the play features. Alright, now these are all of the different pieces that are included in the box, including a new switch piece that's molded in with a girder, base, um, girders, a sign, a little curvature hill piece there, um, bumpy track there with the little tra uh, rail ties. And one thing that I noticed on the newer track pieces that were specially made for this set, they have the wider ties, like um, they're a little bit thicker and everything. Now here is the um, action figure, or action feature, excuse me, the Crystal Caves uh, piece all put together. I want to show you a close-up of it, so you'll see that you have the nice stickers here, the crystals, you have the wooden beam stickers, um, which were a pain to get on, but I did pretty good at it, I think. Um, and you'll see that you have a little brickwork detail at the bottom of the base, which is neat. Here's the front, you'll see that hill piece that comes out to the piece of the track. And of course you'll see the little switch underneath there as well. On the top you'll see the sign for the Crystal Caves, which I wish it said something like Crystal Caves instead of just being plain, but you know, it is what it is. At least it doesn't have the Thomas Friends logo. And then here on this side you'll see the crystals again. I really like that lamp detail, it gives it a nice three-dimensional effect uh, with that lamp sticker there. Here's the other side. Excuse me, the, the back there, I should say. And there's a look at the top. And a look at the bottom. Now, I have one problem with this. And that is, uh, well, first you can see again the bottom detail there. Uh, all connects together. My problem with this is that the fact that it's very easy to disconnect. So, you'll see how it goes down there, and that's no problem. But, if you try to pick this up, it falls back the other way. And then you cannot get it to move back. So when you do that, you really want to take and um, pick it up from the top and hold. Also, I don't like how that piece is easily to disconnect and just come straight out. I wish that was attached a little bit better, because right now it just kind of just sits in there kind of loosely, and I really don't like that. It's not the first time Mattel's done this, and I really wish they would change it. Alright, also included is this girder piece with these awesome, beautiful crystal pieces. I love these. I want more of these to really make that crystal caves effect, and I think it's really cool. You'll see here that we have an orange and a blue one, which I think is neat, and it's slightly translucent, so it really catches light, makes it look like the crystals from the show. Here's the top and the bottom of the piece. And next are these buffers, and I've raved about them before, and I'm not going to stop. I love them. It's so cool to get realistic looking buffers, and it's something we haven't had in years. And this is about as close to realistic looking buffers as we're going to get, so I adore it. I really want more of these too. Alright, there's the bottom. Alright, so now that we've seen what's included in the box, let's take a look at the engine and car. And the first thing you'll notice with this engine is the great detail on it. You have the crystal details, the flag here, and it's printed in such a way that it has shadows, so it actually looks like it's three-dimensional if you look at it just right, and I think that's a really cool touch. Here's the front of the engine, and you'll see that you have this awesome Thomas face. I think it's really cool. It really captures the look of all engines go Thomas, and just the cuteness of it, which I think is pretty cool. Here's the other side, and you'll see there's that blue crystal blocking number one. We can still see the one behind it because it's slightly transparent. I think that's pretty cool. Here's the back of the engine, and you'll see that you have the molded buffers, the colo detail, and of course the extra long coupling. 
Here's a look at the top of the engine. And the bottom. Alright, next up is this crystal flat car. Now, to be honest with you, this is just a plain all engines go standard flat car. There's really nothing special about it. Um, you will see though that crystal ball on the top, which is really neat because it has um, a slightly glitter texture to it. So it's like been infused with glitter on the inside of the mold, which I think is pretty neat. Here's the back of the car. And then this is a specialized boulder piece. So you'll see on the top there it has some holes there, but on the bottom it has a main uh, area that connects to that peg right there. So that way you can sit on top of a flat car and it's not going to fall off or roll off, which I think is a nice touch. And now let's take a look at the set all built up. So we are going to take and have Thomas run around the loop here and we'll get started with that. So once you start Thomas, he's going to go up the hill here, and then he's going to go around these little curves, past the big crystals, and then onto the Crystal Caves Bridge. And this is the cool part. You can see he zooms down, crashes through the barriers, and lands safely on the other side. I'm not going to lie, that was a pretty cool feature. Alright, next, if you want to switch the tracks, you can actually have him go deeper into the mines. You'll see here that he does that by going through the caves, which I think is a pretty cool touch as well. And then he goes up the hill and makes it out with a crystal ball. Alright, so all in all, what do I think of this set? Well, it's very interesting, and I think that for the layout itself, it's compact. I like that. Um, I like the action feature of the bridge collapsing. I think that's really cool, too. Um, I really like that it is a... Um, it's a it's not a manual reset it's automatic reset so you're not having to worry about stopping the engine you know resetting all the functions and then starting the engine again you can very easily switch between routes without having to worry about the train derailing um, I will say the only time that I had the engine derail with the car was when it went over the switch junction but other than that I couldn't really tell um, that there was a problem which I thought was uh, very good all in all, though, for this set, I like the layout of it. I like the engine that's included. I like the little crystal with it. I think it looks a lot like what we get in the show. No, it's not exact, but it's hard to replicate the crystal caves um, in a you know 3D form because typically everything's underground. But I do think this captures the look of it. And if I look at it, I'm instantly reminded of the crystal caves. So it did a good job on that. All in all, it's a fun set. I think it's great for younger engineers are adult fans alike who like all engines go and yeah i think it's great now if you are an adult thomas fan or a thomas fan who doesn't like all engines go this probably isn't going to be for you but if you like all engines go or you want to collect every item that's been made definitely pick this one up anyway that's my thoughts let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you all again very soon bye for now